Batgirl and Scoob, amongst possibly others to be named in the future, cannot release in any form so that they can get a tax break on it. It's a write-off. They just, they just write it off to someone, to the tax fairy, I guess. As I've gotten older, my looks and wit have slowly faded away, whittling down to nothing. But my cynicism, my skepticism, has ratcheted up to about a thousand. I try really hard not to report on things or speculate on things, but every day there's news flying this way than that. Batgirl is canceled, The Flash might be on the chopping block, there's a Supergirl movie axed. I just don't know what's real or what's not. Not helping the credibility of these news stories is they're often reported by a bro on TikTok who holds his mic out in front of him that's coming off of an earpiece. Like, you can't even invest in a mic that's external and outside of the camera's frame. And yet I'm supposed to believe what you're saying. The brutal harsh truth in all of this is those videos typically have tens of thousands of views. So, so I got to thinking, maybe it's time for me to pair back. Start caring a whole lot less, just pushing content out really quickly, not checking news sources or anything. And you know what? I'll get the views because I'll be first to talk about it. So from here on out, this is how I'm gonna be presenting things. Hey guys, just wanted to give you the news here first that HBO is in trouble. They're hemorrhaging money, Batgirl's been canceled, a lot of stuff's on the chopping block. You heard it here first. I have 14 more videos coming up right now. I've been doing this for so long now and with such minimal success, I'm seeing different generations of grifts and lazy content get produced that I can bitch about. It's perfect. It's like an old man yelling at the sky. Anyway, on my Twitter feed earlier today, I noticed an article come through by NBC News. HBO Max as a streaming service is one of the top dogs. They have 76.8 million subscribers. They're gonna be able to take that number and combine it with the Discovery Plus users, giving them 76.8 plus one users. That's big, that's big. This has already been in the works for a while because starting next summer, 2023, we're gonna get access to this new thing they haven't said the name of yet. Maybe HBO Discovery or Discovery Max. Plus, I didn't bring up my bitterness earlier for just shits and giggles. No, there was a reason, and it's because of this new deal. It turns out David Zaslav, or whatever the fuck his name is, he's in charge over there. He's making the calls, he's making the big decisions, and he had a financial quarterly report go out and he needs to cut back billions of dollars, three to be exact. And in order to do that, he looked at the offerings and he said, okay, let's combine services and then let's cut the fat, meaning half of the employees working for Discovery Plus and HBO Max because the jobs would be redundant. So we can get rid of those people. This is gonna make me look really good for the investors. You know, I just got a new um, entertainment center out in the family room. We, we stared at it for like five minutes. That thing ran us uh, quite a bit. We were very happy, very excited to get this piece of furniture that we waited multiple months for. Meanwhile, this jack off is cutting jobs left and right, combining services, and removing Warner Brothers films, just full stop. Batgirl was finished. It was like 95% done. According to the reports, They're, they were in post-production, like doing some final tweaks in the editing room, right? But no, it's gone. It can't be put on the streaming platform. And here's the best part, This here's the rub. Batgirl and Scoob, amongst possibly others to be named in the future, cannot release in any form so that they can get a tax break on it. It's a write-off. They just, they just write it off to someone, to the tax fairy, I guess. Imagine being actress Leslie Grace, working your butt off for like a year, getting super excited for fans all across the world to see you as Batgirl, only to have it shelved. How unbelievably sad. And not only her, the director, the writers, the producers, all the actors, the key grips, the camera people, the set designers, the costume designers. This movie possibly could have sucked. I had zero interest in it at all. I have no interest in Scoob 2. The first one was trash. But these movies were worked on. They were made to be seen. And then to have some jack fuck corporate exec come out and say, Ooh, we could make and save a lot of money by combining forces with Discovery and just kicking these movies out the door. We can write them off. It's a write-off! It's a write-off! 
This did scare a lot of people, rightfully so, about future Warner Brothers films and HBO Max and what that means. James Gunn came out and said that Peacemaker Season 2 is still a go. It's safe. It's not on the chopping block. I'm more concerned about that gumball movie that we were supposed to get. What's the what's the situation on that? It's It's been mum for years. My son loves gumball. He got me into it. I heard there was a movie and a new series coming out. What, what, what is happening? I swear to God, if this guy screws me on this too. If he takes this from my son, like he took Batgirl from tens of people across the world, there's going to be hell to pay. I mean, not really. I'm just going to complain about it and move on with my life because it's too short to get so worked up over something so trivial. But for those that worked on this, I, I feel bad. I really do. It sucks. This kind of news just disgusts me to no end, though. The capitalistic douchebags at the top that only care about the bottom dollar. They don't give two shits about what we're feeling, about the product that's being put out. It's all about money at the end of the day. It's all about that bottom line. And there will be defenders in the comments. I know there will. They, they will just be like, they have to make money. They're a business. They got to make money. Yeah, I know. How much is too much, though? Coming at the cost of good art. And not that I'm saying Batgirl would have been good art. Scoob 2 most definitely wouldn't have been because I saw the first movie. That was, uh, uh, that was my Pearl Harbor. But what boggles my mind even more aren't just the people that defend this crap, but like actively encourage it. I saw multiple tweets saying Disney needs to buy them up. They need to absorb Warner Brothers. They need to, are you seeing what Disney puts out? Are you blind to the garbage that they've been crapping out the last few years? It's embarrassing, the product that they're coming out with. They rush it out the door. They put little effort into the script. They just go down these boxes and check it off, throw it through the conveyor belt and move on with the day, coming up with the next products. Because that's what they are, they're products. They're not films, they're not art anymore. And you can delude yourself and pretend that they are. Or maybe you don't care again because you're not really watching them and, and taking it all in. You're like, you're like half-ass watching the film while you're playing a game or, it, you know, it's in the background. It doesn't matter. You just want more of it. And that's sad. That's sad to me. This is the world we're in now, though. We're movies that cost $100 million to make. You heard me, $100 million. That's about the price tag of Batgirl. They can just be flushed down the toilet so that the guy upstairs can look good. Unreal. Let me know in the comments. Am I off on this? Is this not what's happening at all? Did I get some, some fake news delivered at my doorstep? Put it in the comments. Like the video if you had some fun. Make sure to subscribe if you have it because I'm doing that new format now where I just hold up the, the mic like this. And I'm like, hey guys, what's going on? It's Adam here. I just got to get this out really quick. All right, I got 10 more videos. See you later. But seriously, thanks for watching. There's a ton of content out there. I'm glad you stopped by my channel and at least gave it a shot. Take care. Listen, he may have two or three houses in the Caymans, but that entertainment center I got out there in the living room, <laughs> he'd probably use that for firewood. Since you're still here, and you feel kind of bad for pathetic losers on YouTube that have been doing it for a decade and clearly have no self-respect anymore, maybe join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, or become a member right here via that YouTube join button. I'm around. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Everything's fine. We're, we're fine.